So, you may notice that we're not currently in my room, but that has a very good reason. Because I've been wanting to show this thing off forever, so just watch. So, this is not actually an aquarium. I mean, it sort of is. I mean, there's obviously fish swimming in there, and they're not quite dead yet, so yeah, it kind of is, but this is actually my parents' living room table. Yeah, see, stuff goes on there. It's really pretty distracting when you're trying to eat dinner, and there are fish swimming around under your plate. Yeah. Seriously. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of me rambling on and on about stuff that you're probably not listening to anyway. So, as a human, you're probably aware that people tend to need scapegoats in their lives. That's pretty much just how it goes. As a healer, you're probably aware that that scapegoat very often tends to be you. That's also pretty much just how it goes. What's the matter if the DPS didn't fire or your tank forgot what spell reflect is or your interrupter was watching TV at a bad time? The end result is that someone died. And naturally, someone's health reaching zero must mean a terrible healing failure on your part. Otherwise, their health would still be greater than zero. Right? I particularly enjoy the question directed at me that then inevitably follows. What was the problem? So I sit in my chair, kind of like you see me doing right now, and that is not quite enough for a facepalm yet, so I just kind of slowly raise my eyebrow and reply. You stood in whirlwind. Those pulsing balls that follow you, yeah, you kind of got hit by them four times that were 20% when the face ended, and then you taunted the boss. You didn't stand on top of each other to split the damage. You didn't switch targets quickly enough so the ad exploded when the timer was up. You know how it says on your screen ghoul explosion in X seconds? Yeah, you know that probably means it would be a pretty good idea to be far away from any ghoul when those X seconds are up, just, just to guess. That ability you failed to interrupt? Yeah, it kills people, but I figure you just wanted to verify that for yourself. I also like the, uh, the answer that then inevitably follows. Oh. Of course, how much you'll run into situations like that greatly depends on the amount of pop content that you do, and probably also your guild's overall average IQ. A lot of people are actually really good at analyzing the situation and what was wrong and how to fix it, but to the people that aren't really good at the whole big picture thing, you know, sometimes silence really, really is golden, with diamonds on top. Now that I got that out of my system, tomorrow is the 5th, which equals new content, that's right, I hope you're as excited as I am for this. We'll be presented with a brand new wing of Vice Crown Citadel, namely the Plagueworks. And in there will be three new encounters waiting for us, namely Rotface, uh, Festergut, and Professor Patricide, reminiscent of Professor Farnsworth from Futurama, as you will probably notice when you see the encounter. So yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Festergut is a pretty straightforward encounter that will require you to run towards players that get a debuff. And Rotface is a uh, fight slightly reminiscent of Grobulus that will require you to run towards a tank. 
before pumping out a mutant slime baby after getting a debuff. Professor Putricide seems to combine the, uh, the slime and gas elements of the previous two encounters, and also quite possibly two oozes. Players will have to transform into abominations to, uh, to slow down the volatile oozes and also to eat the slime puddles to reduce their size and keep a reasonable area of the floor open. Uh, it appears as if eating the slime gives the abomination uh, energy for their other abilities, but also having an abomination active will deal a steady 4.5k AoE raid damage to your raid. Which kinda sucks, but also makes it more interesting for us healers, so that's okay. Along with the oozes, there will also be uh, gas clouds that will chase down random players. So it's probably safe to assume that bad things will happen if one of them catches their, uh, their chase target. So it's probably a good idea to get away from that. Uh, then you also have to deal with kiting Putricide and him throwing out gas bombs, so that should be a pretty fun one for us to learn. We'll know for sure what's on the table tomorrow though, so take this with a grain of salt. Future Sight will also be the first encounter in Ice Crown Citadel that has a limited number of attempts tied to him. Uh, you pretty much only get 10 shots of this encounter per raid lockout period until uh, all other encounters are unlocked. So definitely make them count and make sure that your raid is actually prepared before attempting this so you don't waste attempts. Um, Pre-encounter guides for Festergut and Rotface are available on tankspot.com written by Spiritus. They should give you a pretty good overview of what to expect from those two encounters. Um, also alternatively, we will have 25 man guides up within the day of release of uh, the second wing of Ice Crown. So if you want to wait for that, you might as well. And I would also like to mention that I wrote a uh, a tutorial on how to create your own artwork for KG panels in Photoshop. Um, it is available in Tankspot's UI section in written format with screenshots attached to make it a little more user friendly. So uh, if you wanna, if you're interested in that, go ahead and check it out. It should also be available in video format somewhat soon, next couple weeks. So uh, if you would prefer that, just gonna have to wait a little bit for that. Um, I did not, however, cover how to actually import artwork into KG panels and how to uh, work the program, so you should have some basic understanding and knowledge of KG panels before attempting this. And lastly, I would just like to mention that Bailey's Coffee, much like peppermint mochas, are perfect celebration drinks for patch days and absolutely delicious. Until next week. So I sit in my chair, kind of like me sit, yeah. Professor Putricide. Professor Putricide. Yeah. Three brand spanking new encounters. Those are Rotgut. No, Fester got actually. Rot face and Professor Patricide. Slightly reminiscent of Professor What's His Face from Futurama. Futurama. Fester God, Rot face, and Professor Patricide. Drum roll. I want sugar. I'm not, which is the weird part, but I think I need some. <sighs> Yay, back to normal. Oh, wait, bright. 